Take one. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching. Keeping up with the Joneses. I'm Ashley. I'm Jace. Jace. Woosa. <laughs> so, we went to her. It's your finger. <laughs> We went to Diaper K last night. That's fun. Got to see babies. Diapers. And hold babies. <laughs> a lot of babies. There was a lot of babies. It was like a daycare center. There was like five babies, but like. Almost. <laughs> Definitely fire hazard. Anyways, did that. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not a very good camera holder. Holder. Um, now I lost track. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. So, I'm getting made fun of for my camera holding skills. Is it a good angle still? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we went to Madison, got some Mac and Don Steakhouse. As you can see the cup. Yeah, two cups. Um, went there, went to Lewis. Lewis. Drug. Lewis Drug. Or as my stepdad calls it, Louis Thrifty Gifts. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, we did drugs. <laughs> okay, so we went to Louis to get pictures printed for his dad's birthday gift. Which is tomorrow, so everyone say happy birthday to Troy. Even though he doesn't have social media or anything. Yeah, he doesn't. Good luck. That's for you to figure out. Because <laughs> you can find him. Permitting away. Yeah, we sat there, got that. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, as we were waiting for the pictures to print, I sent Jason out to the truck, and I was just wandering around looking for something cool, and I decided that we are going to test out this. The true touch. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. dun. That'd be really cool if you put effects on it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, we're going to try this out. It's one of those, like, as seen on TV things. And believe it or not, some of those are pretty freaking good. Maybe I just have a shopping problem online. <laughs> they look like this. They're not for humans. Yeah, they tried to brush my hair with it, and it, like, was ripping out my hair. Well, I didn't try. I succeeded. No, you didn't. Nothing came. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it gives you instruction on which way to pet them. Wow. It's a glove. You just put it on and pet Around them. Around the face, under the chest, behind the legs, and tail. That means they butt. Butt. Uh. <laughs> Five finger D shank. This thing is huge. Oops. So it has like those yeah. huge. Like, look at it. It's Definitely really made for deep hands, I think. Um. It's pretty bendy, flexible. It's got this little strap so you like strap around your wrist so it doesn't flap off when you have them in your hand. Be careful, I'm looking now, I'm so excited. Ooh. How, why are you crying about this earlier? I have long hair. So do I. It's actually working. Is there hair coming out? No, it's just matting down your curls. That's good. Like straightening your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Woof. <laughs> All right. Our first. Oh. oh my goodness! Oh, is that? So our first victim will probably be Nala. So this is Oli. He doesn't shed because he's a labradoodle. He's like the best dog on the planet. So I don't know why he's over there. This is my parents' baby. So this is Nala, our baby, and this is Coda, our baby. And then my parents have a lab. So three out of the four dogs in this household shed, and they shed bad. So Nala this one. <laughs> is the worst. Well, she's got more hair. I think she doesn't even shed as much as the labs do, but she's just got long hair, so it's everywhere. So, go lay down. Come on, go lay down. Code is gonna get all jealous. Um, so how's it working? A lot of it's just falling out on the floor. Oh. And I just vacuum. So 
so it's not really doing what it should do, huh? <laughs> it doesn't help that Oli's being a jack wagon. Oli, go lay it's down. It's too big for my hand. Like it's catching fur though. There you try. She's not one to get brushed. She's not a big fan of it. But I noticed when I was doing it, it was just like kind of pulling it on the floor. Like it's all over the floor now. So, I mean, the brush was catching some, but not like on the picture. I vacuumed three times today and Jace doesn't think our dogs don't shed enough. Three times I vacuumed. How's it looking? Yeah. I'm sure if you do it for a long time, you'll get a lot out of it. I'm not super impressed. Ow, dude, there's a dog. It's like all over the floor, like just everywhere. It's not really sticking to the glove. Yeah. Harry. <laughs> well, let's see, I'll pull. What? Save your money, folks. Yeah, somehow. Yeah, but it's all over the floor. Mm -hmm. So we use the Furminators. If those you guys know what so those are. Nice. They are amazing. I 100% recommend them. They are worth the money. Do not buy the off brand of those. They will rip your dog's hair out. If you're going to get a Furminator, good buy good the good Furminator. We have an off brand one, and it works on super, super short hair but it like ripped out now it's on here. So we bought her the real one. That's all you got? That's, got That's like one swipe with our Furminator, you guys. Yeah, the Furminator is like, you brush and there's a little pushy button on there. Just push all the hair off, it's so nice. And then make some with vacuums. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. We have. should get one of those. That'd be fun. They could get really loud though. So what like else? literally, it like just pushed all of her hair onto my floor. I mean, her coat looks nice and brushed out, but holy! I can see it. It's just piling up by his ass. Hey, watch your mouth. Sorry, kids. Yeah, it pulls the hair out, but it doesn't stick to the glove. Kind of does, yeah, really. Glue. Okay, so we thought we would just show you guys quick the tools we do love and the things we do love for our dogs. Um, this is, dogs, get out of here. Hmm. This is like a little silicone brush. Where did we get this, PetSmart? It's the Furminator brand. It came with the kit. You know when the dogs eat it. So it came, our Furminator came with these, this dual-sided brush. It's silicone. It is like split in half. It bends with them. So that's the Furminator brand. And this like is silicone. It kind of pulls all their fur together. It sounds like after you brush them. Kind of like that glove would be. Yeah, after you brush them, and just like that, it picks up the rest. So Coda is a short haired dog, but because we have Nala, we got the one for long hair and it works on Coda just fine. So it's the Furminator. And this is the button Jace is talking about. It like pushes a blade in between these blades. Just like that. It pops the hair out. So um, nice. We'll show you on Nala. Quit licking my feet. This is my favorite, like, do dogs stink? <laughs> Especially these four, because they're always outside together, always rolling in gross stuff. Like they were eating bloody gloves from cleaning a deer like they're just nasty yeah so <laughs> i got this and i actually really like the smell of it it's oster fresh snuggles freshening spray fresh snuggles um my advice is to spray it after you brush them because if you spray it on before you brush them it gets the hair all wet Dude, it sucks. and it all sticks everywhere it's really gross um one other thing I really, really love, it's really expensive though, is this paw and nose lotion from Burt's Bees. It's kind of amazing and it's okay for them to like lick or whatever. Um, and it's just really, I don't know, it's been good. Coda kind of like 
this really bad crack guys. So. And we clip our dog's little nails, which is terrifying by the way. Yeah, not nose hairs. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we got this little tool at PetSmart for like six bucks. Um, it has a blade so it stops the nail, you can only trim so much. Don't scratch these, you don't use the blocker and you trim too much. I forgot that guy. One time, could have been his last time. You're so full of poop. Dogs didn't die, they bleed out. Anyway, we use this. To trim, to trim nails. But we'll show you really quick on the labs what the firmator does. We're not going to show anything at Ole because you don't have any fur right now, we just shaved him. So we'll show you on Nala's long hair too. Mm-hmm. Mm. What are you so excited about? Hey. What's that? What is that? Are you going to be brushed? Okay. So on Coda, we normally have to spend like 10, 15 minutes and he's done because he's a lab. But it like, you just push this in and slide it right off. Um. That's the lab fur. Why are you so close to my face? Because. Oh, look it. You don't like it. Okay. I'll use the light. <laughs> like. And you don't have to push very hard. You just kind of run it through. This one needs some freshening spray. It just smells like old farts. My it always stinks. She's an old bud. But you guys, seriously. And it, well, like when it's full, you'll know because it stops pulling it out. But. Y'all will sit. Nala, who loves this? I mean, there's this. always a little bit of fallout. Coda gets jealous too. Nala much. has so much fur. But like. This is just one, like, little tiny bit of a cup of So, now it takes like an hour. Pretty sure you could comb her for days and you'd still have her come off her. Oh, look at the pretty puppies. So, if we had to recommend one, I'd say, what are you doing? I'm not doing it. Okay, so if I had to recommend one, I would still stick with our Furminator. It collects more hair, it works better. Um, I'd say if you have one of these and it works for you, cool. If you want one, just to like collect the dog hair after you brush them. Like I think we could use it on Nala just to like collect the excess that's flying everywhere. It might work better on longer haired dogs. Okay, Nala's hair is like four inches long. There's longer ones. Anyway, I would recommend this still over this, but it was fun to try. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have questions about these products, I will try to find all the links and link them down below. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and eat your beans at every meal. <laughs> All right, well, Jones is out. Happy Sunday.